Tesla just dropped a bombshell nobody saw coming. While sales fell 13% and BYD's $10,000 EVs dominate, Elon Musk quietly weaponized 50,000-ton Giga presses at Texas, casting the Model 2's entire aluminum frame in just 4.7 seconds. This cuts $7,000 per car, bringing the price down to $20,000. But here's the real game changer. With FSD V14, this car doesn't just sit in your garage. It works as a robo-taxi, generating $35,000 yearly while you sleep. Can a sub-$20,000 EV that builds itself in seconds and pays your salary actually kill traditional automakers? Let's dive right in. The revolution happening at Giga Texas isn't just about speed or cost. It's about fundamentally rethinking how cars get built. While Ford and GM still operate like it's 1950, stamping, welding, and bolting together 30,000 individual parts, Musk walked into the factory and asked a simple question. What if we didn't do any of that? The answer sits on the production floor right now. Three massive 50,000-ton presses that cast the Model 2's entire body structure in three solid aluminum pieces. Front section, rear section, and structural battery pack. That's the whole car. What makes this approach so radical isn't just the dramatic parts reduction from 30,000 down to 423 components, a staggering 70 times simplification. It's what happens downstream from that decision. Every part you eliminate removes an entire chain of complexity. One less supplier to coordinate with, one less component to warehouse, one less inventory item to track, one less potential failure point. When you multiply those savings across millions of vehicles, the math gets serious fast. Tesla saves roughly $2,000 per car just on materials and logistics before the vehicle even starts taking shape. The welding reduction tells an even more compelling story. Traditional EVs like the Chevy Equinox or Mustang Mach-E require over 5,000 welds to hold their bodies together. Each weld represents a stress concentration point where metal fatigue develops over time. That's where rattles come from. That's where structural cracks begin. The Model 2 reduces this to just 300 welds total. When Tesla's assembly robots connect the three giant castings, they only need 16 critical welds along the seam lines, reinforced with aerospace-grade adhesive rated at 40 megapascals, the same bonding strength used in aircraft fuselages. This represents a 91% reduction in potential structural weak points. From a labor economics perspective, this shift changes everything. Tesla's Model 3 production required 40 to 50 workers handling welding and inspections. The Model 2 line, maybe a dozen technicians overseeing automated systems. That's another $1,500 saved per vehicle in direct labor costs. Even factory energy consumption drops by approximately 3 kilowatt hours per car. Spread across annual production, that's $50,000 in electricity savings. This is precisely how Musk can credibly target a retail price under $19,000 when he initially promised $25,000. But here's what separates this from typical cost-cutting. The material science actually makes the car better, not cheaper in the negative sense. Tesla specs aerospace grade 6061T 6 aluminum alloy for these castings, heat treated to achieve 400 megapascals of tensile strength. This is the same aluminum used in commercial aircraft and SpaceX rockets. When you cast an entire structural section as one solid piece, instead of welding together dozens of panels, forces spread evenly across the whole component rather than concentrating at weld joints. 
The engineering team claims this frame will maintain structural integrity for 30 years without significant degradation. Traditional stamped and welded frames start showing stress cracks after 10 to 15 years, particularly where salt corrosion attacks weld joints. Single-piece castings eliminate most of these failure modes entirely. The torsional rigidity exceeds the Model 3 by 30%, and the Model 3 already handles 60 miles per hour corners while withstanding 1.3 tons of pressure without deformation. The weight savings amplify every other benefit. The complete Model 2 chassis weighs just 120 kilograms versus 270 to 320 kilograms for current Tesla frames. That's a 55 to 63 percent reduction on the heaviest structural component. In automotive engineering, weight is everything. Every kilogram removed means less energy required to accelerate, less momentum to control during braking, less mass to push through air resistance. With an LFP battery pack similar to the Model Ys, this weight reduction translates directly to approximately 15% more range, from about 267 miles up to 307 miles per charge. The production speed implications border on unbelievable until you break down each step. The molten aluminum alloy reaches 700 degrees Celsius. When it enters the 50,000 ton press, injection happens at 34 megapascals of pressure, enough force to fill every cavity in just 0.95 seconds. The cooling system hits it with 5 degrees Celsius air while 300 water channels pump 500 liters per minute through the mold. Complete solidification takes 1.5 seconds. Tesla runs three presses simultaneously, each handling one casting section. That's 2.45 seconds from molten metal to solid components. Robotic systems move these castings to a central assembly point where more robots snap them together with those 16 critical welds in 2.25 seconds. Total time, 4.7 seconds for a complete chassis. To appreciate how abnormal this is, Ford's F-150 assembly takes 18 to 24 hours per vehicle. Even Giga Shanghai, previously Tesla's fastest factory, builds one Model Y every 18 seconds. The Model 2 production runs 3.8 times faster than that. The secret weapon is Starlink integration throughout the factory. Every robot and sensor communicates with 20 to 30 millisecond latency at 250 megabits per second. When Ford or Hyundai detect a welding defect, production halts for two hours while engineers diagnose and fix the issue. At Giga Texas, the AI control system processes millions of sensor inputs in real time, detects anomalies, and issues corrective commands before defects occur. No downtime, no rework. This is why Musk can confidently promise Q1 2026 delivery. Order in December 2025, receive delivery by January 2026. No six to eight month waiting lists. Tesla's offering an additional $2,500 incentive for pre-orders before year-end. The deeper disruption emerges with robo-taxi capability. FSD version 14 features 10 times higher neural network parameters than previous versions. Since early 2025, Tesla's operated over 1,500 paid robo-taxi rides, covering 15,000 miles across Austin and the Bay Area. This real-world testing in complex urban environments feeds directly into AI training. Tesla's latest safety report documents something remarkable. Vehicles running the new FSD average one accident every 6.69 million miles. The average human driver experiences an accident every 700,000 miles. That means FSD version 14 is approximately 9.5 times safer than human driving. This isn't theoretical. It's measured data from actual roads and traffic. 
The hardware evolution also deserves attention. Tesla killed the Dojo supercomputer project in August 2025, pivoting to partnerships with TSMC for AI5 chips and Samsung for AI6 processors. These new chips deliver 10 times the computational power of current HW4, processing trillions of calculations per second while maintaining latency under 10 milliseconds. The Model 2 launches with this AI brain built in, fully autonomous ready from day one. This completely transforms ownership economics. Traditional cars sit idle roughly 95% of their lifespan, parked at home, parked at work, depreciating while generating zero return. The Model 2 can join Tesla's robo-taxi network instead. Each ride generates $5 to $15 depending on distance. Run your Model 2 for 6 to 8 hours daily while you're at work or sleeping, and realistic projections put annual revenue around $35,000 after expenses. That's essentially the median U.S. office worker's salary, except your car earns it without health insurance, paid time off, or retirement contributions. For retirees on fixed incomes or families struggling with inflation, this reframes the entire purchase decision. You're not buying a depreciating asset. You're acquiring an income-generating business that pays for itself in under eight months, then delivers profit for the next 15-plus years. The competitive implications terrify traditional automakers. Tesla's sales declined 13% during the first seven months of 2025, while BYD flooded markets with sub-$10,000 EVs. Legacy manufacturers interpreted this as Tesla losing its edge. They fundamentally misread the situation. Musk wasn't scrambling. He was perfecting a manufacturing process that makes every other automaker's production methods obsolete. When the Model 2 arrives in Q1 2026, it enters a U.S. market where new 250% tariffs just blocked Chinese EVs. Ford, GM, Volkswagen, they're all still using 80-year-old manufacturing philosophy, burning billions on factories that can't match giga-casting economics. The Model 2 doesn't just undercut them on price. It's structurally superior, longer-lasting, more efficient, and generates income. Drop Model 2 in the comments. If you're watching the entire automotive industry, realize they built their factories wrong. So can a $20,000 EV that builds itself in 5 seconds and generates $35,000 yearly actually bankrupt traditional automakers? The answer is already unfolding. This is exactly why legacy manufacturers are in panic mode. They're not competing against a cheaper car. They're facing a manufacturing revolution that makes their billion-dollar factories obsolete. When your competitor builds superior vehicles in one-tenth, the time at half the cost while turning buyers into business owners, you don't have a pricing problem. You have an existential crisis. What most analysts miss, the same gigacasting technology building the Model 2 is the exact process SpaceX uses for Starship production. Musk isn't just disrupting cars. He's proving aerospace manufacturing can dominate any industry. And this is just the start. If Tesla hits targets, 3 million Model 2s could be generating income on U.S. roads by mid-2026. Think about that. Millions of Americans earning $35,000 annually from vehicles sitting in their driveways. That's not transportation. That's wealth redistribution through technology. What do you think happens when every retired teacher, every struggling family, realizes their car can cover their mortgage? Drop your prediction in the comments below. If this breakdown gave you a completely different perspective on what's coming, hit that like button. Subscribe to Tech Revolution for more deep dives into the innovations reshaping our world and turn on notifications so you don't miss what happens next. Because when the automotive industry collapses and rebuilds in 18 months, you'll want to understand why.
This is tech revolution. We don't just report the future, we show you how it works.